from a humble family in Louisiana, uh, born in New Orleans, and I grew up in a relatively sheltered environment. I didn't really know that you had to apply in advance to go to college. Anybody who went to university just went to the local state school, um, where I, in fact, did end up going my first year. So you're missing one of my universities, the University of Southwestern Louisiana, the home of the Ragin' Cajuns. And that's where I started um, my freshman year because I, I literally only started thinking about um, what I wanted to do or be in life um, when uh, I was graduating from high school, which I think is the experience of, of so many young people. And it's hard to know where you fit, where you belong, what you want to do, um, and how, how to discover the gifts that you have inside. Um, and then be able to put those gifts to use. So for me, I, um, I knew that I, um, I was curious about the world and I wanted a chance to go out and, and discover um, the things that I'd only read about. And one thing led to another. When I heard about um, Georgetown School of Foreign Service, and that you could study international relations from a cross-cultural perspective and the history and the politics and the economics and the theology and the philosophy, I, I thought, what could be better? <laughs> um, so you see, I, I couldn't limit myself. My appetite was very big. And, um, and maybe it's coming from uh, this big appetite that I've ended up um, having the most privileged kind of career. It's not that I'm such a good person or, you know, I'm no Mother Teresa. Um, I've been able to work with the most um, interesting social entrepreneurs on the planet. I know the, the poorest people and I know the richest people. And I've been able to be, in a very small way, a connector.